Welcome to the Spotlight Show, where you get to meet new students around the school and learn what they do. Hi, I'm Kayla Compton, and I'm here with Eddie Re Reyes, and today <laughs> we're going to be doing an episode for the Spotlight Show. All right, Eddie, so go ahead and tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm a senior here at North Center High School. I'm 17, and I am president of... of <laughs> Of Unidad. Okay, so tell me a little bit about Unidad and um, what well, Unidad do. is. It, it's it started off as like a Latino leadership club. Right. Uh, now we're focusing more on bringing a lot of people from different backgrounds. Uh, our main focus is to better our community and basically get minorities to where they have to be at, which is college. So, what are some of the main activities you guys do in uh, Unidad? Well, we have. I'm sorry. Uh, we <laughs> have. We have. Uh, we normally have two major um, soccer tournaments: one in the fall and then one in the spring. And then we also have a new um, event that we started up last year called Diversity Day, where we bring in a whole bunch of clubs and a whole bunch of food into our school. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so every year, about how many people are in the club in general? Uh, well, every year we typically have about 60 people. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so you've been in it since freshman year. Yes. Hence why you're the president. Yeah. Um, so what's your favorite part about being in Unidad? I think my favorite part is probably meeting new people. Um, I remember starting up as like a freshman and like I already knew these people because, you know, like, I, I was very familiar with the faces. Mm -hmm. And I guess uh, every year I, just seeing new faces, new people, it just made me happier to see that a lot of people are involved and they're willing to change their community. Okay. Um, yep. So what's been your favorite, your favorite thing that you've done to help out the club? Uh, I guess my favorite thing, well, we stopped doing this, but my favorite thing was going to like different elementary schools and... Um, translating and helping out parents that couldn't understand English. Why did you stop doing that? Uh, it was like, you know, law stuff. We weren't really allowed to do oh, it. Okay. So tell me more. Tell me more about what makes the club unique to you and to other people. Uh, I really feel what makes the club unique is the people that are in it. Uh, it really started off as like a very Latino group, but we right. have introduced a lot of people from different backgrounds. So being able to see that change from freshman year to my senior year uh, really made me um, like the, the club a lot more. And do you feel like having those other people from different backgrounds has made the club better? I think having people from different backgrounds does make the club a lot better. It really, uh, unidad means unity. Right. And being able to bring a lot of people from different backgrounds basically makes our ideas spread out a lot better. <laughs> So you would say that it's made the club come more together, yeah. inviting people from other backgrounds has made it more, run more smoothly, you say? Yep. All right, so I'm going to ask you a couple questions, just cool. some general questions, just to um, jump out there. Yeah. Um, so if you were stuck on an island, what book would you bring? Uh, I would personally bring The Cat in the Hat. <laughs> Why? Just because it rhymes a lot and I'd be pretty entertained <laughs> for like a couple days, maybe, okay. maybe a year. <laughs> um, if you were to have dinner with one famous person, who would it be and why? Mm. I don't know. I'd probably have dinner with Obama. All right. Yeah, just because he's a very outgoing person. I like his voice, too. As opposed to, like, a celebrity? Uh, well, I mean, I guess he is a celebrity. I mean, a lot of people know him. But I guess a celebrity, probably Dwayne Johnson. What's your favorite food? Favorite food? There's a lot. <laughs> but uh, I recently had these, um, I think they're called Asian pop stickers. Pot stickers? Pop stickers, yeah. <laughs> they're they're, like they're really dumplings. good. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're really, really good, yeah. Okay. Um, and what's your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject would probably be um, biology. I really like the sciences. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, if you could go back in time, what time period would it be and why? I would personally not go back in time just because it's very, it's very, you know, there's a lot of, um, my fault, my fault. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> over. All right. Um, I personally would probably go back to like the 90s. I don't know. My mom listened to a lot of the Backstreet Boys, so I would probably take her to one of those. I'd probably take my mom back in time, and then we would go to a Backstreet Boys concert. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Creative. Um, what movie best describes your life? Oh. Tough one. It is a tough one. Um, <laughs> movie. Uh, Jesus. Yo, what movies are there? Uh, it's not a movie. Um, I, I guess the SpongeBob movie really says who I am. I mean, I'm a very <laughs> strange person. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Um, what would you say to someone who talks trash on Norristown? Really? I mean, I guess there's nothing much to say. I, I guess our actions speak for themselves. I mean, look at how great we are. I mean, all, all the great clubs that we have. Um, to someone that speaks trash about Norristown, I guess just show them what we have done. Um, I think as a school, we have progressed a lot, and I'm very proud to say that I'm going to graduate from Norristown. Good, good. 
And what else have you done at the high besides being the president of Unidad? Uh, besides being the president at Unidad, I did play soccer from my freshman to my junior year. I began playing tennis last year, and I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and I'm adding Chris. I'm top two, and I'm not two. <laughs> um, let's see. Besides sports, I, I did DECA for a year, my sophomore year. We went to States with my best friend, Justin Galando. Um, let's see. Damn, that is a lot. <laughs> um, I guess that's it, yeah. Okay. And how do you feel about growing up in Norristown? I guess it's really changed. Well, growing up in Norristown really affected the way I think. Um, so? I was exposed to a lot of diversity. You know, I'm very friendly with a lot of people, a lot of races. You know, it doesn't matter who you are. You know, I'm gonna, we're going to be friends no matter what, regardless. <laughs> um, growing up in Norristown really, I, I got to see, you know, my friends change a lot. I, I got to see myself change a lot. Um, it's made me a stronger person for sure. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. I'm Kayla Compton, and we're closing out the Spotlight episode. Thank you, Eddie. Yeah, no problem.